Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I am going to be doing a reading for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. Unlike some other readings where I sometimes receive a few downloads before the reading, I can say that I really have no idea where this particular reading is going to go. I just am going to sense into the energy of those who have felt drawn to this video, who are present here with me, whether you are watching the day I post it or five, ten years down the road, it doesn't matter. These readings are timeless. They are meant to connect with you whenever they reach you. And several cards just flew out from the traditional tarot. Give me just a second. It's pretty unusual for me to have several cards all coming out at once at the very beginning of the reading. So someone must have brought very powerful energy and intentions to this particular reading video, which by the way, speaking of setting intentions, if you would like to tune your energy into this reading, which does allow me to pick up more specific messages for you and your situation, then be sure to subscribe to this channel because by subscribing, this does allow me to more easily pick up on your energy and channel more specifically for you. Okay, so we had several cards here all coming out in the reversed position. And what I'm getting is that there's someone I'm picking up on who's felt very emotional lately and very overwhelmed. This could also be related to increased amplified energetic intensity as a result of the equinox, which we are coming up on here. Do let me know if you want more information on how these equinox energies may be affecting you so that I can channel more on that in the future if there is interest there. The first card we have, and again, all of these are actually reversed, but I'm going to be reading them. I'm feeling really guided to actually read them from an upright position because, okay, this is kind of a complex message coming through right away. What I'm getting immediately from whoever's spirit guides I am connecting with here is that in this state of emotional and or energetic overwhelm, which actually they're correcting me and saying the emotional overwhelm is just a manifestation of the energetic overwhelm beneath the surface that we're going to be reading into. But in those moments, your ego, your human minds, from your limited, naturally limited human perspective, because of course the human mind doesn't see nearly as far as the soul, which the soul has this bird's eye view of ourselves and our lives. And what I'm getting is, it's like what you're feeling and what your soul knows are almost complete opposites here. And that's why all of these cards are reversed. They represent these feelings that you've been having, but then the truth and what your spirit guides want to reveal to you is that actually the opposite is happening for you or I'm hearing is in store for you, is on the way for you. I'm hearing everything in your life causing you pain or hardship or struggle is turning around. Things are opening up for you. I'm hearing doors opening, door to personal healing and happiness in the upright position. You have so much to be proud of, to, to love yourself for. You are on this beautiful path of healing, of self-growth. And I'm hearing your guides also say you've come so far. For some reason, I'm hearing the name Dorothy. This might be the name of someone's relative that has passed on and is now a spirit guide assisting them. But also, I thought immediately of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Someone may have been in a location where there's been in if I can think of the word, where there's been difficult weather lately because, of course, the Wizard of Oz starts when there's a tornado. And I'm getting this 
metaphoric energy of turbulence within you happening as well but actually just like in the wizard of oz the turbulence transported dorothy to this magical place where she found a true mission and purpose i feel that you listening to this video are being transported by the chaos by the turbulence by the energetic overwhelm you are feeling to exactly that to this so-called magical place except it's not really magical it's magnetic it's you tapping into your true power and therefore maybe looking magical to others because of how powerful you become and are becoming it manifesting your dreams and desires in life everything is coming together for you with the strategy card in the upright position but the thing is that coming together is happening at a soul level it is happening in alignment with your true soul's blueprint meaning the divine timing that was orchestrated at the level of your soul prior to incarnating here essentially that you pre-decided for this life because i am sensing that one of these feelings that might be coming up is actually fearing running out of time fearing that you're at a standstill and things aren't moving fast enough specifically of course we get the yin yang card in the reverse position so someone might specifically be feeling like they are at a stalemate in some kind of stagnancy along their twin flame journey and i'm going to get more information what is this person feeling who is feeling stuck along their twin flame journey okay the word heartbreak came out feeling lonely someone might be thinking with sadness on things that may have happened in the past in the 3d with their twin flame that now have them in a position of feeling stuck here we go okay wow we have the four of wands reversed I heard lack of commitment, so maybe there was a feeling that your counterpart wasn't willing to commit to you, or there was this feeling that things between you weren't ascending to this next level of commitment. This card also very synchronistically represents unhappy families, postponed, canceled reunion, leaving home. Wow, I felt this wave of emotion when I said leaving home because I instantly heard a voice say, you are my home. And when I left you or when we parted, it felt like leaving my home. This is also the communication card or it's a card connected with the throat chakra, which is symbolic of communication and so the fact this card is reversed tells me that there might be a lack of communication or disjointed communication between you and someone who you are very connected with at a spiritual level who may be your twin flame although only you know for sure this isn't necessarily a twin flame specific reading so take it as it resonates with you with unhappy family i'm also getting that there may be family issues for someone someone might be feeling like i hear someone saying my family just doesn't understand someone might be feeling like the people around them just don't get them don't understand them yeah the conflict card came out i'm tired of being in conflict with others emotionally i'm tired of being misunderstood by others it's causing me to feel lonely it's causing me to feel alone on this spiritual path to feel heartbroken but it may or may not be heartbreak in the romantic sense this could just be a generalized feeling of the world is breaking my heart because you are such a soft soul in all of the most beautiful ways and i feel myself about to cry because there's such a radiant pure energy around you in spite of the fact that you are someone who has been through a lot of struggle and a lot of hardship in your life and i feel that some of this struggle and hardship has been related to finances or money or work situations because we do have the five of pentacles card coming up here 
I'm hearing periods of unemployment. So there could be someone here who has switched jobs a lot. You might be unemployed at the moment, or you might be working towards some kind of soul purpose here outside of a traditional work environment. And again, like with all of these cards, this card resembling poverty, resembling financial hardship was at first reversed meaning that you were very mixed up around this. You were very much in this stuck energy. But then when we turn the card around to reveal what your soul, your spirit guides, your higher self are really saying, they're saying this is temporary because this card now says temporary financial hardship, a change in circumstances. And I'm getting that... Whoever I'm speaking to here, I don't know why your guides want me to bring this up right now, but you are someone who prioritizes nourishing the soul above material things. Now, this is not to say that you do not or will not have material things because you actually carry this very high vibrational energy and this magnetism around you means that Although you might be going through a period of hardship at the moment or in the recent past, your luck is changing in the sense that that magnetism is going to start attracting back to you abundance in all forms, including material things. But the ironic thing about you is although you're capable of manifesting and attracting these things, you're very powerful, but these have never been what's really important to you and what's truly been important to you is with this seven of wands card in the upright position it's been standing up for what is right and specifically i see someone who fights for those who don't have a voice this actually might be an integral part of your soul mission here wow i got this wave of goosebumps and i heard your guide say it's because you as a soul chose early life circumstances where you would feel voiceless because it was an integral part of your soul mission to become one who would fight to give a voice to the voiceless. So you yourself had to first experience that in your own energy so you could help uh, unravel it for others essentially so you could assist others with shifting in the same way from voicelessness to empowerment and i see the message on this card just says standing your ground and i feel your guides saying stand your ground quite simply stay confident in who you are and what you came here to do don't allow the way that others or society perceives you to influence you to mistakenly believe yourself to be weak for the very aspects and attributes about yourself that make you so uniquely strong, so uniquely powerful. This really connects with solar plexus energy also. And I feel that a major part of your work recently has been increasing your sense of confidence, your sense of self-worth. With the decision card, which again was in the reverse position, the two of swords representing someone struggling to make a decision, feeling indecisive, feeling like things have been delayed. That word delay seems to just keep coming out over and over again in this reading. You may have a connection, again, going back to the yin-yang card reversed. This could be a twin flame connection that you felt was delayed. This could be a job or movement forward in your work, your finances, your career. But I feel that there's a higher level truth here. What is the higher level truth here from the spirit guides, from the higher self about these feelings of delay, of postponements? What's really going on here? Wow, the three of cups upright. What a beautiful card. This card resembles reunions, celebrations, parties. 
wedding, engagements, happy times, something to celebrate, something major to celebrate is coming, something that has felt delayed for a long time. I keep wanting to say that this is very specific to you, so I feel only you can know what this is. This might be reconnection with a specific person. This could be something material you've been trying to manifest. Yeah, here we go again. The Six of Wands, another celebratory card. This card is just screaming yes energy, but that success, that victory, that winning energy coming from this card happens in connection with the heart center. It means that you are going to be victorious over whatever you are struggling with at the moment, which again is just a temporary struggle. You are going to find success but it's going to come from that beautiful space you have cultivated within yourself, that space of alignment with your soul and alignment with heart energy, heart chakra energy. This is also though a card of fame. So some of you might find yourself achieving a very big following on social media or achieving fame of some sort. Although I'm hearing you're someone who may not actually like the spotlight. It's ironic. You are someone who actually might shy away from being the center of attention because you're very empathic and attentive to others. But that is actually exactly why you are going to be put in the spotlight, why you are going to achieve such a following because your ability to empathize makes you so relatable and magnetic to other people. It causes, your energy causes other people to feel seen, to feel heard. Again, there's that message of you are giving a voice to the voiceless. I don't know what you're doing, but whatever spiritual work you're doing, passion, hobby, business, whatever you're doing is really empowering other people to find their voice. We also have the full card freedom, originality, adventure. For, for some reason I heard that someone might be an outcast or have had this kind of outcast energy, a lone wolf kind of energy in their family or society. You may have had people looking at you or even now you might still have people looking at you for foolish. As foolish, sorry, I just bumped my microphone a little bit there. The energies have just been coming through so strongly. Someone here might be looking at you with either jealousy or with judgment. There may be people gossiping about you or just looking down on you as being naive or being foolish for seeing the best in others or for pursuing this dream or goal. I'm hearing someone say, no one ever makes it doing that. But you are going to be the one because you are not operating the way that others are operating. You are operating from a state of pure soul alignment. This is part of your soul's blueprint, which is why you've always felt a pull in this direction, whatever you're moving towards that feels right for you, that others may be criticizing. You've always felt the pull here because it's been part of your soul's plan here on earth to accomplish these things. And on the devil card coming out here, we have, I am not a puppet. I feel that people may have tried to control you. For some reason, I'm hearing control an image. So you may have had a parental figure or someone in your life who wanted to control the way that you behaved or that you appeared to other people to help their own image or to make them look better. But the thing is, you are breaking free of all of the ties of control that anyone may have had over you. And I'm also hearing that if anyone is still trying to control you in any type of way. Spirit is cutting these connections out of your life. You might suddenly feel distanced from these people because those strings are being cut. You are no longer controllable, so to speak. You are walking this highly independent, expansive, beautiful path that is empowering so many people. Page of Swords came out here. Interesting. Delayed news, patience needed. Yeah, so once again, there's that message of delay. You might feel like something is being delayed, but have patience, meaning have faith. 
have faith and surrender to the divine timing of this because when something is part of your soul blueprint as this is for you as you can feel in your gut and your soul it will inevitably manifest because it's part of your true soul path it's in alignment for you i would love to do a video sometime on how to know if something is in alignment in resonance with you different signs that the universe can send you when you are in deep soul alignment with something when something is very much on your path part of your soul's blueprint so do let me know in the comments if you would like to hear more on that and also let me know if any of these messages have been connecting whoever i'm speaking to here you carry such a profound light specifically the kind of light that empowers others to see the light within themselves which is so beautiful and i'm going to channel a few final messages for you but first i do want to let you know that i have created very powerful subliminal meditations to assist you in manifesting whatever you are working to create attract in your life, whatever this may be, subliminals are very, very powerful manifestation tools because they utilize the power of your subconscious mind, which it's actually the subconscious mind that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. Subliminals contain unconscious affirmations that bypass the conscious filter of the mind and make deep, lasting impressions on the subconscious, essentially rewriting your entire energy field, making you magnetic for whatever you desire to create or attract in your life very quickly. Personally, I did not see results from the law of attraction until I began meditating with subliminals. So now I've created more than 100 subliminals myself that I make available to you through my website, soundandsoulful.com. So as you can see on the screen, on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So whatever you're trying to manifest, you will most likely find some subliminal here that connects with this dream goal aspiration or some energy shift behind it i have subliminals for physical appearance changes for mood shifts for money business success love relationships and so much more and when you sign up for a free trial account on my website, you gain access to all subliminals I've created, and you can even create your own custom private playlists. Now, if you would like to use the exact subliminal I've been meditating with for two years now that I've used to radically shift my energy and manifest many of my own dreams and goals in life, this is my seven chakra energy clearing. It will really help you to release any limiting beliefs holding you back from your highest potential and the link to that particular subliminal is in the pinned comments and description box under this video what you need to know as a closing message for this reading is the storms are over it's so funny that metaphor of the tornado came out earlier now we have the exact same image of a tornado on the storm warning card but it's reversed meaning the storm is coming to an end whatever you are going through is temporary and what is in process for you is so profound with happy family in the midway position, this speaks to something in the process of coming into being that involves a very happy, harmonious reunion state, reconnection states with someone either romantically or coming together with like-minded people who are part of your soul family. The thinking woman midway also refers to you rising in your power, your confidence, your sense of independence and stability in this physical world. And envy in the midway position speaks to everything being fulfilled, all of your heart's desires being fulfilled because you've had the courage to seek that fulfillment from within yourself rather than seeking external validation from the world or from others in that with cornucopia upright the most beautiful card the 1111 card is why you are going to be the one who manifests everything you desire in life you are a light you are 
having a more profound impact effect on those around you than you may realize. Someone might be connecting with butterflies as symbolism as well. So I really hope this reading connected with you in a meaningful way. If it did, I would love to hear from you in the comments under this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at magnetize yourself and of course the seven chakra energy clearing subliminal that i mentioned earlier is in the pinned comment and description box under this video as well have a beautiful magical rest of your day and i will talk to you again in the next reading